How you doing guys? Um, I'm Zach Carter and I'll be going over a Hello World tutorial today for the iPhone. I'm going to go a little briefly um, due to the fact that uh, YouTube only gives you 10 minutes. So let's start by opening up a new project under iPhone application and a Cocoa Touch. We'll name this Hello World. And um, let's start in the myview.m file. And um, it just pretty much uh, gets all these files ready for you, which I'll kind of explain as I go along. And um, let's start with our function. Basic syntax is your type of the function and then the name of the function. So we're going to call this display label. And as the label works, you have your x and y coordinates, which we'll need to position the label. Um, from the center, and then you're going to actually have to make the label's width and the height um, to show, which I will get into in a second. So, we'll make an integer from the left. We don't want it to go any bit from the left. Um, from the top, we would like it to go down about 40 pixels, and we will make another integer, the width of the label which will equal 320, which is the total width of the iPhone screen, and the height of the label, which will equal 40. Now that we've done that, we're going to need to create a frame to put the label in. That comes before actually creating the actual label itself, which I will do here in a second. You can create the frame by using the CGRECT class, and we'll make an instance of that, we'll call it frame so we'll do cg rect make and it goes in the order of from left from top the width of the label and the height of the label and as you can see we just put these properties in here, I make them as variables because it's easier to understand rather than if you were to just put numbers in, it would be a little bit more confusing. Um, so now that we've made the frame to put the label in, we need to actually make the label itself by calling the UI label class and making an instance of it with the variable label. And um, so we will start by putting that into RAM. And we're going to initialize it with the frame frame the instance of frame, which is right there, that we just made. Now that we've actually made the label, we will want to do specific um, properties for the label. So we'll make the text alignment, um, which we can do, which is really nice. They've made a lot of nice features for that to make our lives easier. Um, we're pretty much just centering that there. label.text is equal to hello world which is what we want our label to say and the font is more for properties boldness underlined um, in this case I'll just show you an example of how to bolden it there's plenty more classes that you can call um, to, to help with that um, so we'll make the boldness about 40 and for the text color this is actually um, the red, uh, red, blue, green, and you could just do um, how that works is on a scale of 0 to 250, the higher you go, the lighter it gets, and you have to do that with all the three different colors, kind of match up. Uh, look up numbers online. It's a lot easier to uh, figure out what numbers to use when you do it that way. Um, but anyway, I'll do make it all white by doing 255 out of 255 for all of them. Actually green comes before, it goes red, green, blue. Um, 255. And then, now that we've made a, uh, actually there's, there's also um, an alpha um, which, to my experience, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I believe it's the transparency um, of the text in the label. 
and how transparent you want it to be. Um, so play around with it a little bit if you're, if you're bored. Um, now for the background color of the label, they made a nice little feature called, um, it, it's in the UI color class, and it's called clear color. Pretty much just makes the same background that you're on, whether it be a picture or whatever, it's really nice. So now that we've made the label, we're going to use the add sub view, which pretty much just adds uh, the class that you call, which is label, into the iPhone screen. And then once you do that, you need to release it. If you can't see it, go ahead and pause and take a look at the code. Okay. Now we're going to want to copy this. The, the header and as always we're going to want to put it in the .h file the functions must be called after the brackets after these brackets right here and before the at end but in between interface and at end so make sure you do that okay and in your hello world app delegate this is essentially your main um, the main function actually calls Hello World App Delegate. So we go here, and if you actually take a look at the Hello World App Delegate.h file, you'll notice that the at class My View, which Apple has already written that code for you, which we just worked on, My View.m, um, they made an instance of that with a pretty much like a constant variable almost called Content View. So anytime we want to access that class, we can just use the uh, instance that they've already made for is called content view. So we're going to use that content view and then we're going to call the function that we just made, display label. And hopefully, sorry if there's errors, hopefully if all went well, it should compile right up and go. And of course, there's always errors. Just give me one second, I'll pause and get right back to you. Okay, essentially, um, see these errors, just little mistakes. Down here, I didn't label it light from the left. And width label. Hopefully it should compile now. The build succeeded, and there it is. Um, well, uh, that's it for today. I'll be trying to get on with some more tutorials, and I'm going to establish my own web page here soon so I can make these tutorials longer and a little bit more patient, but just trying to establish my name right now, um, and I'll be back with the web page and everything later. Talk to you later.